Hi, it's me again, Amy Caroline from Stealthy Wood. Lately, I've learned a few things about URLs on my website. Did you know that you can shorten them so they look nicer on social networks or even on your emails? More than that, Odoo also takes care of your URL redirections or modifications, which lets you avoid technical and complex operations just to change a single letter on your page name. When you have foreign visitors, it even takes the IP into account, redirecting them automatically to the right language, if you have that language loaded to your website. And this gives you a clear view of where your visitors are from or what languages they speak. Your website and page URLs are really important because they allow your visitors to access your website and also because they influence your page rank on an internet search. Even if now it seems difficult, you'll see that it's easy thanks to Odoo. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so here I am on the homepage of my website. Let's go ahead and switch to French to see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna go to French. The first thing I noticed is this change in my URL. It now specifies the language of the page that I'm on. So this is really cool because not only does it indicate the language of the page, but I can also change the language from the URL as well. So of course, there is the first method that I did, which is changing the language from this button at the bottom of the page. But if you don't have that button, you or your visitors can also change the language right here in the URL. So what I'll do, simply modify this and go back to English. En underscore US and enter and it redirects me to the page in English. So that's just really quick and easy. Okay so let's go back to French. All right and let's look at this a little bit more in depth when we create a new blog post. So I'm going to add one new blog post and edit. Okay of course I need a title for my blog post. And then I'll save. And once I save, a new URL will be generated for this post specifically. Okay, and I have that URL right up here. As we can see, it has the title of the post in the URL as well. Okay, but let's imagine that um, my French customers don't assume that I will have a title in French. They will assume that it will be in English as my company is English-based. So instead of the correct title, they will say um, handmade versus um, factory made products. All right, so if they search for this, there's no problem because as you can see, they're redirected to the source page of that URL. All right, so that's really convenient. But now let's imagine that you sent this URL to one of your customers by email. So they have access to this original URL but after you sent that email, you edited the title. Okay, so let's say 2019 here and save. So of course, when you edit the title, it changes up here as well. All right, but your customer still has that original URL. So what happens when they search or if they enter the one that you gave them? All right, so let's go ahead and use that. And it's no problem because still they're redirected to that source page, regardless of if you modified it or not. So how convenient is that? That's a super cool thing. But even more, let's imagine that you want to um, publish this URL on your social media sites so that people can just click and access this blog post. But let's face it, this title is a little bit long and you want to make it shorter and nicer to look at. Okay, well, let's go ahead and remove this title. And we have a shorter URL, okay, so it's cleaner. And uh, we can go ahead, even the 2019, okay, and search for this. Still redirected, okay, so you can easily shorten that URL for your social media sites or email or however you want to present it. All right, so you have a lot of flexibility here. Um, and even if your um, customers make a mistake at the title of the blog post, there's no problem because they can easily be directed to the specific page. All right, but let's go even further. Let's imagine that um, you liked this post at the time, but now it's not really relevant, so you want to delete it. But the issue is that all of these people have access to this URL that you first gave them, and you don't want them to be redirected to a page that's empty. So what we can do is redirect the URL to another one that is still existing in your site. So to do this, we'll go to the back end of our website application, 
Okay. And well, the first thing I want to show you is if you go to blogs, you of course can edit the post here. So if I would like to delete one, I can do that right here. But to redirect, we'll go to configuration, redirects. Okay, so let's imagine, let's create, let's imagine that um, the blog post that I deleted, I want it to be redirected to my homepage simply. I will put the URL, the original URL of the blog post right here, or the modified URL, whichever one your customers have, right? You can put that right here and it'll be redirected to your homepage. So here you will put the URL of your homepage. And of course, you need to specify which website this is for as well. And you also have a redirection type. So you can say it's moved permanently or moved temporarily. So that's just something that makes um, your life easier and makes your user experience, once again, so much better for your customers, for your visitors. Okay, and you can even create a new page um, saying, whoops, this blog post doesn't exist anymore. So that's even another possibility. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.